anything lower than the mind of Christ is mental illness. Boom. Wow. Anything lower than the mind of Christ is mental illness. Uh oh. I'll say it again. Any mindset lower than the mind of Christ is mental illness. Let that sink in. The Holy Spirit's been saying this to me for the last month or two, and it's just really becoming clearer and clearer to me. Anything lower than the mind of Christ is mental illness. A realm of hell. Could we call it that? Anything lower than the mind of Christ is mental illness. Because the mind of Christ is the perfect mind, right? So anything lower is a lower mind, the lower mind, the realms of hell. You know, as a Christian, growing up as a Christian, as a fundamental Christian, I don't think we ever saw it that way. We talked about the mind of Christ. We learned about the mind of Christ. We studied about the mind of Christ. We looked into the word, the Bible, about the mind of Christ. We know the attributes of the mind of Christ, but we never realized that anything lower than the mind of Christ is mental illness. Mental illness has such a negative connotation. And I would say that we in the church, I'll include myself at that time, would judge people with mental illness, diagnosed Maybe somebody came into the church and was socially awkward, weird, one of the extra grace required people that maybe hung around after church and kind of inappropriate socially, maybe. But, but let's go beyond that. Let's take a look at our own mental illness. Let's take a look at our lower minds. Jesus came for those who needed a physician. He said, I came for the sick. Everyone's sick. That's the whole point. <laughs> he was trying to make a point that I came for those that know that they're sick. I came for those that know that they have a mental illness. I came for those that know, realize, understand, and acknowledge that their minds are in lower realms of hell and will admit that and admit, I need the mind of Christ. I have mental illness. But to admit we have mental illness is going to shatter the ego. And so what happens is the ego defends itself and actually creates more mental illness because of pride. <laughs> what a circus the ego brings us into. It's like all these circuses going on everywhere. And oh, to just hunger after humility to embrace humility as a friend, to embrace humility as a healer, to embrace humility as the closest confidant, because humility is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit brings us to places of humility. And it takes humility to admit, I've had mental illness because my mindsets have been dwelling in realms of hell because guess what i'm human and i have iniquity and i have generational curses and i have sin and i have transgression and i have trauma and i have ancestors that pass down their um iniquities and cyclic patterns that are sick mental realms and mental strongholds that are not in the mind of Christ. 
oh, I also live in, in places geographically that have strongholds over them and principalities over them that are dark. Therefore, the realms over my head physically, geographically are dark. There are strongholds over my head. For us to admit this, we are under realms of hell. hell. We are under dark mindsets. And so mentally we have illness, mental illness. We do. We do. The ego is so easy, um, easily quick to cover up mental illness. Um, I know a lot of people who don't like to admit when they're physically ill either. I guess being in the nursing realm, it's much more natural for me to talk about physical illness. But there's a lot of people that, you know, will tell you, I, you know, something's going on. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. You know, I have this thing in my body and the different reasons, you know, we have shame about our illness, but mental illness, the ego is going to cover that shit up. I'm sorry. I know that was a masculine, horrible way to say it, but that's how the ego works. It works in a bully kind of way. It's going to shovel crap over that truth and put a mask on it, put a cover on it. Put a nice flower over it. Whatever you have to do, just make it look pretty. And yet we can't. Because the spirit doesn't lie. Our mental realms are what they are. They, we exist in these mental realms, whether we are going to admit it or not. And eventually our behaviors are going to manifest where our mind is. And the ego does so many tricks to blind us to the truth. That's why we can thank God for the people around us. And so when we isolate ourselves, it's another trick of the ego to keep anybody from pointing out what is so really there, so there. It's just that when we're alone in ourselves, it's easy to cover it up. And... God is going to reveal. I was talking about mental illness a lot recently on videos and how it's going to increase. And maybe it's not going to increase, but it's going to manifest. And I said that on a video, it's going to manifest because God is a covering truth. And so our mental illnesses are going to openly manifest. Any mindset we have outside the mind of Christ is mental illness. And we all have it. We all exists in mental realms lower than the mind of Christ. We got to admit that. We got to admit that. We got to openly admit that. And so these realms in which our mentalities are in are going to be exposed. And how's that going to come through? There's an accelerated work of the Holy Spirit in the earth, but there's also things are coming that are going to put the pressure, squeeze out the pimple gonna push out the truth gonna rip off the mask when the lightning the thunder the storm comes everything blows off the roof blows off the covering blows off and um it's better to get low now it's better to get low now and be like, I got mental illness. I, I, I live in realms lower than the mind of Christ. I do. And I need the help of God. I need the deliverance of God. I need the renewing of my mind. I need to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. I need you, God. I need to see. I need to have the mask taken away, the denial taken away. Because you're saving me in the process from these realms of hell that bondage me that trap me, that keep me in cycles and circuses and patterns of death. 
every mentality, every mindset lower than the mind of Christ is mental illness. Jesus said, I came for those who know they need a physician. We all need a physician, the higher mind. And this is where God is willing to take us. And spiritual law is the lower we go, the higher we will ascend. It's easier to project out and talk about everybody else, point out everybody else's craziness, hide cover up, retreat, run away, seclude, put on an act. If we're running after truth, spiritual law is going to allow us to get a deliverance, to get an upgrade, to get an expansion, for God to blow our minds, but that's gonna be preceded by a bowing, a lowering, a, hum a humility, a breaking, an acknowledgement. He who acknowledges the Son has the Son. That's a revelation. Everything lower than the mind of Christ is mental illness. Save us, O oh God. Save us, O oh God. Upgrade us, O oh God. Deliver us, O oh God. Renew us, O oh God. Transform us, O oh God, by the renewing of our minds. I pray, Lord, and I thank you. I thank you that there is a war on shame. <laughs> I thank you that there is a war on shame right now. There's a war on shame. 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 War on shame. There's a war on shame. There's a war on shame. There's a war on shame. I could get some percussions and just start banging away, chanting away, mantraing away, prophetically singing intuitively away, doing a tribal. Call declaration. There's a war on shame. 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 I agree. I agree with you, Holy Spirit, with the war on shame. Because once we can know that our shame is taken away, we can receive the gifts that come through the power and the tsunami of love in the heart of God for us. It is our shame. hidden in pride, in the ego that resists that love. But there's a war on shame. 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 I know it's weird. Mental illness is weird too just has a lot of weird cover-ups. It's weird and I don't care because there's a war on shame. There's a war on shame. There's a war on shame. Where does control and perfection come in? Perfectionism, shame. Where do masks come in? Shame, where does pride come in? Shame. Have you ever been in somebody's house that is always, I mean, clean to the point that it feels sterile? It doesn't feel warm. It doesn't feel welcoming. It doesn't feel inviting. It doesn't feel hospitable. It's almost as if 
and I've been in sterile operating rooms, they are more welcoming, honestly, by far, than a, a house like this. A person who is so perfectly clean. I'm just taking that as an example. We all have shame. But when someone is so driven to clean that way to the point of it's all shame cover up all the dirt get rid of it hide it I gotta look perfect as perfect as I can look even if I have to try to be sterile how can we be sterile free of bacteria free of dirt it's impossible that's just one example we all have shame but there's a war on shame and we have the opportunity the gift and the promise of having our minds renewed being transformed by the renewing of our minds god is restoring our innocence bringing us power from on high through the kingdom of heaven by way of humility.